Ahoy Mateys from the Danville Public Library. This week it's all about pirates. Pirate names, pirate books, pirate snacks, pirate crafts, and guess today we're going to read Pirates Don't Go to School by Alan MacDonald. Are you ready? Get your listening ears on because here we go. On the Sally Lobster, the pirates were busy. Swab the poop deck, hollered paw. Scrape the barnacles, shouted ma. Mend the mainsail, cried grandma. And where's my tea, Jake? But Jake was tired of swabbing, scraping, and mending. Pa, when can I go to school, he sighed. Wants to go to school, you say. School, gasped his family. Pirates don't go to school. School is hard and horrible, growled Paul. It's all rotten work and rotten rules, muttered Ma. And teachers are as mean as sea monsters, warned Grandma. But Jake longed to go, and he kept on asking. I want to go to school. All right, all right. We surrender, groaned Paul. You can go to school. Oh, boy, school. At sunrise, Jake's family rowed him ashore. He had a cookie from Ma and Polly hidden under his hat. Poor little lamb, sniffled Grandma. I hope he'll be all right. Oh, the playground was huge. Jake stood all by himself, feeling very small. What if my teacher is a terrible, tin-legged sea monster, he worried. Suddenly, a giant shadow loomed over him, and Jake gulped. You must be Jake, smiled Miss Cherry. Come and meet the class. Ahoy there, Jake. Ahoy there, mate, said Jake, raising his hat politely. But he'd forgotten what was underneath. <laughs> Polly woke off with a screech and took off. Good heavens, gasped Miss Cherry. Oh, no, cried Jake. Come back, you pesky parrot. Come back. A parrot? A parrot? They chased Polly into the gym right into the middle of class. Heave ho, mates, cried Jake. I have her cornered. Quick as a monkey, he climbed up a rope, but Polly didn't want to be caught. Oh, dear, cried Miss Cherry. Blow me down, moaned Jake. Come back, you pesky parrot. Come back. Squawk. See you later. Outside, Jake hunted high and low. Where is that feather-brained bird, he sighed. There she is, cried a girl. Look out. The principal hit the deck. Oh, the principal hit the deck as Polly swooped low across the playground. Sink me, groaned Jake. What now? But then he had an idea. Taking out his cookie, he broke off some crumbs. Hey, Polly, look what I've got, he called. Ooh, Polly's eyes shone greedily. Cookies were her favorite. With a squawk, she took off. Polly wants a cookie and landed on Jake's hand. Thanks, heavens sighed Miss Cherry. Hooray, cheered the class. That pesky parrot came back. Who's a clever Polly? Jake knew he was in big trouble. Pesky parrots were sure to be against the rotten rules. Miss Cherry folded her arms. Well, Jake, what should we do now? Send me home, mumbled Jake. Miss Cherry laughed. Oh, I have a much better idea. Who likes to sing? Me, shouted Jake, because singing is one thing pirates love best. Paints and brushes out. Time to do some painting, said Miss Cherry. Follow me, mates, because pirates love to make a mess. By story time, Jake had forgotten his worries about the rotten rules and getting into trouble. He listened to Miss Cherry read a tale about treasure buried deep on Parrot Island. Even Polly seemed to like it. When school was over, Jake's family stood waiting at the gate. Well, Jake, they said. Was school hard and horrible? No, cried Jake. I want to go again. It sounds like one big adventure. Mm -hmm. And he told them all about his day. Well, boil my bed socks, cried Pa. So the next day, guess what? Jake went back. He brought along the entire family. And there they all are at school having a great time. Thank you, mateys, for listening to the story. And don't forget to get your craft packet this week. We miss you. See you soon.